Are you in control of one of the biggest costs to your hotel or restaurant? When is the last time you actually took time out of your day to review all your energy bills, your electricity, your gas, your oil? Um, I, I always find it really funny. I, I went to hotel management for four years when I was younger and they tell you how to do a forecast, how to do a budget, how to control your wages. But nobody tells you that when you actually become a hotel manager, you're going to also be in charge of a building. A building that comes with really high costs on energy, water and waste. Those utility bills can actually amount to be the second largest cost to your actual business. Yet, I remember in my early days um, when I used to be an early duty manager and I used to arrive to work at half six and of course the breakfast chef becomes your, your best buddy because uh, he's the only one that up with you at that hour. And Every single time, I think I remember, um, the breakfast chef will arrive and he just switches everything on. All the ovens, all the lights, all the tractors, the fryers, the grill, everything. You just turn everything on to be ready for your day. But considering the amount of money that we spend on energy, why do we allow staff to make the decisions as to when things should be turned on and off? Why do they allow them to decide when you're going to spend your hard-earned cash? You wouldn't allow them to decide how much they're going to get paid. So why did you allow them to decide um, to turn on all machinery at once? When I first got involved in the concept of green hospitality and running a green hotel, we introduced really, really simple measures. Um, we did things like reviewing our equipment, finding out how many kilowatts an hour each machine used, setting on and off charts, um, reviewing our boiler settings, etc. All really simple actions that don't actually require investment. They just require a little bit of your time um, and a bit of time from your team. Um, and we were working in a hotel in the west coast of Ireland and within two years of starting a green program, we actually managed to reduce our energy consumption by 30%. 30%. Now, what could that do to your business? Imagine if you could save 30% of all your energy costs and put that money straight into your bottom line. This is the basis of this week's blog. It's all about energy. What you can do to actually reduce the energy consumption at your hotel. Um, there is a few tips on the full blog post, so head over to my website if you want to find out more.